stuff that they have, all these like tests and signs and stuff, and you can just get tested. I mean, I'm vaccinated already, but just to be sure. Now I'm heading to my physical therapy. My session was exhausting. I'm so tired right now. I need to find a place to sit down. But look, for everyone that asked me where I got my surgery done, thirteen months ago. the other day if I do hauls at all I don't consider what I do haul but it just like these are things that I accumulated over the last couple of days so um, I figured this is my version of a haul my physical therapist walked me out today after filming this I'm gonna lay down for like half an hour I don't even know where to start as many of you know by now I love the real real so um, I had some credits left on there that I needed to use, so I bought some stuff. I got this beautiful midi skirt from Giorgio Armani. This probably cost a lot of money, but I got it for like 70 bucks. But I feel like fast fashion charge 70 bucks for something that quality is not there. There's stuff that like $400 at Club Monaco and stuff, and I know the quality is not as good as this. I love the beautiful open seams on the side. When you wear it, it's actually kind of tucked into the waist. It's really, really pretty. I don't know why, but I recently just like am very, very attracted to midi skirt. The fabric is so beautiful. It's like a beautiful satin. It's really flattering on. I think it would be good with like, you know, a um, cashmere sweater, knee-high boots, and a coat. The second piece that I got, this one is from Calypso. It's silk and it has a lot of beautiful movement. I like that it's like tight at the waist. <laughs> this is the kind of skirt that you can bring to the buffet with because you can like ease up the waist. I love, love, love the beautiful pleating at the hems. But the thing about it is, I see myself wearing this as a mini skirt. 
So I am tempted to see if I want to cut it short. I think it will be more of my style, but the thing about it, that means that I'm going to lose this. So I'm going to have to ask um, my tailor to see if they can keep this hem, but cut it short. It's a complicated thing. They'll figure it out. The last thing that I got from there is a dress for my friend Isabel. If you guys have seen my surgery vlog, like she was the one that helped me out a lot. She alongside with my boyfriend. So I got her this Michael Kors knit dress. It's like a beautiful, beautiful electric blue. I just think it's really super classy and I think she would love it. And you can tie it at the waist. She dresses a little bit more classy and sophisticated than I am. Okay, so that's the clothes. The next thing is, I went to Sephora. I actually was just gonna go in and get the Olaplex number three because my hair is damaged. So I have to use number three as a mask once a week. Um, and that's $30 already. This is $60 and you get the shampoo, the um, conditioner, and also the oil. Number three is the reason why I still have hair. So I think it's a really good deal. Right now I'm using um, Purology and I love them. I'm just gonna try this out. I wanna know what it smell like. Mm. See, I love these kind of scents. It's fragrance for sure, but it's not like fruity, obnoxious smell that's really cheap. This is like more high-end smell. It's remind me of um, Orbe. Same. So the same scents, but it's a lot softer. I've used this hair oil before. I'm not the biggest fan of it, unfortunately. The hair oil that I use right now, um, I use bread. Um, mixed with Moroccan oil, sometimes I use my um, Sicily hair oil. More beauty products. I was in Koreatown, so I got this mask. It's um, BTS Jimmy. That's his um, character. And the mask, you can see. I think it would be cool to try out. Since I'm gonna go live with you guys soon, I feel like I'm gonna use this mask. I've never used it before. Let's see how it is. It probably just gimmicky, but I think it's the packaging is really cute and I fall for easy packaging. Another beauty products that I got is this Eco Tools one. I picked this up from Ota Beauty. It's cruelty free bristle. It's a dry body brush. You use it like this, you would like kind of like gently exfoliate your skin and then go into the shower. I made a mistake with the other one that I had. I used this wet and the whole thing ruined. I recommend it, especially when you going into the winter. On the winter, as you see with your skin, like you know, on your body, on your face, it's kind of like flaky just because the dead cells kind of building up from the dryness, from probably the heater or something. So just make sure you exfoliate once a week, something gentle. Another beauty products that I got is um, Arctic Fox. This is the color that I use for my hair. I used the whole bottle the first time for all my hair. But I think what I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna keep it as maintenance. That's why I mix in the Olaplex. I kind of diluted the pink, make it softer, you know, more, um, what is it, pastel. And then I apply it on the hair and keep it as a mask for 30 to 40 minutes and then rinse it out with cool water. This is like three washes already, and you can still see it faded a little bit, but not too much. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna kind of weigh maybe one more wash, and then use half of it, mixing with the Olaplex. They sell you like the conditioner in this color too, but I like mixing my own stuff. The last beauty products that I have for you guys, people have asked me before, what do you use for douche? This is what I use for a douche now. Like I said, I lost the one that it gave me from the hospital and that one is like hard to find. So I've been using this. There's four in here. So there's no sense, it's just extra cleansing vinegar and water. Um, it's basically for pH balance. The gynecologist tested, ready to use. So in one of these, there's four. And when you use it, you pull this up until you hear a click and gently insert it in and just squish out the water. Yeah, and um, you might wanna stay in the shower for a couple minutes. 
The only reason I'm still douching is because I have granulation tissue, so everything inside healing, and they gave me the cream for it. So I have to basically rinse it out every day for a couple weeks, just so everything inside is clean and healed, no infection. I was at a Japanese market and I picked up some candies. I feel like I'm just gonna use this candy for trick or treat also. Um, I don't like American candies, sorry. I would eat it if it's there, but I don't really go out and search for it. This one right here is my favorite. The flavor is mango. I could eat the whole bag in like one sitting. I also picked up this bag. I love lychee flavor stuff. Anything lychee, I would like gravitate towards. The last one that I picked up is this gummy. It's very similar to high juice, but it has all these bits in it. If you can find this in your um, grocery store, check it out. So they have four different flavors, grape, mango, strawberry, and melon. The melon, surprisingly, is my favorite in this. This is like a softer, chewy candy. It's really, really good. You see, there's bits and stuff in it. One of my favorite stores in New York is um, Kino Kiyaki. I love manga, I love anime stuff. That's one of the places that make me feel like I'm getting my childhood back. How I live my life is like I don't ever want to lose the innocence of being a kid inside of me. No matter how old I am, I always want to have that curiosity, that excitement for life, for little things. And that's one of the stores that bring back so much nostalgia and happiness for me, so I go there very frequently. I finally bit the bullet and just buy it. This is probably going to be one of my favorite purchase out of all of these. It's the Sailor Moon Eternal Edition book. I remember growing up in Vietnam, my family were pretty poor. <laughs> so. Every time my neighbors who has more money would, um, they have more channels on the TV. And once a week on Wednesday, I think six or seven o'clock, Sailor Moon would go on. And I would ask my mom if I could like um, go to the neighbor's house. He would open the window and let all the kids in the neighborhood who don't have that channel um, watch Sailor Moon. That's why I feel some sort of way. It makes me feel really good that I can afford things right now because I work very hard for it. But um, it just brings back memories that like years ago, I couldn't even afford something like this. And yeah, it makes me happy. Should I open it? I should open it. After reading this, I think I'm just gonna like pack it up again. <laughs> and you can see, this is worth it. If you guys ever wonder who's my favorite Sailor's Guardians is, it's not Sailor Moon. It's actually Sailor Neptune. I used to go to fashion school. Um, I love to draw fashion figures and stuff. And I got some nice paper. So I'm gonna start sketching again. I also got these markers. So there's uh, 12 colors inside. I just need the basic color. I'm gonna mix it up and stuff. I would like to do one video that I'm just gonna sit and sketch. I think that would be fun. I don't know if it's gonna be a pre-recorded video or a live video yet. I'm still trying to figure it out. I would love to know your feedback. If you guys want a live video session that just means sitting here and sketch, or you want a pre-recorded one where you guys send in question and I'm sketching, I will answer the question. I hope you guys enjoyed this little haul. See you tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. It's seven o'clock. <laughs> I, I made a promise with my friend Isabel that we're gonna go take a walk together and have breakfast and stuff. My boyfriend warned me, you sure you want to do 7 o'clock? I'm like, yeah. Morning. Good morning. What you get, Izzy? So we have this plate, it's Australian, and their breakfast called breaking. I didn't know that. <laughs> All my years of dating Australian guys didn't pick up. <laughs> so... Oh, so this is my Australian breakfast. It's a croissant. <laughs> Wonder if you found what you're looking for. I hope it's not too late. I want you back here with me. We never should have said 
it's better this way I'd rather be with you than someone I don't know Now it's like we're living in two separate worlds Come on back to me, say that you won't go I can't cope without you and I wanna hold you close Say that you won't go Say that you won't go Well, you got me Dior, so. <laughs> I got you something I thought you'd really love. I did. It's my store credit now. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like time 
As a wave passing by Leave a mark in our minds To turn the memories River's gonna cry when you're Gone, 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 gone River's gonna cry when you're Gone, 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 gone River's gonna cry when you're Gone, 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 gone River's gonna cry when you're River's gonna cry when you're gonna cry when you go Hey, I was hoping you would stay But I've always known that you would go Find your own way I still see When we climbed up in those trees Twelve years old Feel the wind Watch the river run And the sun would always shine When we sat there, you and I The river's gonna cry when you're Gone, 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 gone The river's gonna cry when you're Gone, 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 gone The river's gonna cry when you're Gone, 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 gone The river's gonna cry when you're You in this beautiful light, sleeping beauty. <laughs> Hi everyone. <laughs> I woke up so early this morning, went on a walk with Isabel after all that clamping and stuff. I laid down for like a couple hours. I was like, oh, maybe 30 minutes and then I fell asleep. <laughs> I just woke up, my boyfriend on his way. We're going out for dinner together. We haven't done one of these in a while. My hair grows so fast that my bangs grew out already. I just put on a little bit of makeup. The eyeshadow is the Pat McGrath one that I always use. I only use this color. So the color that I used as a base all over my eyes is this one, also from Pat McGrath. It's Desert Orchid, and I use it on the cheeks also. I think a lot of people think that like you can only use like a blush on the face and not on the eyes. Use wherever. I use lipstick on my cheeks too sometimes. The lip liner that I have on right now is the NYX Cosmetic. The color is London. People do ask me why do I always have my nails different colors. Like just think of it as a person who being indecisive and don't know which one to wear. So I just put everything on. I'm gonna go change right now and I'll be back. I decided to wear this. Is this too much? I've changed. I miss you. Every breath 